At San Francisco State, uh, we offer you know six career, six development areas, concentrations you would call them. One of the concentrations is in, is in the area I'm in, cell and developmental uh, biology. Sorry, cell and molecular biology, includes development. Uh, and uh, a lot of the students who are majoring in this particular concentration uh, go into it because they want to go to graduate school. They want to be PhDs, uh, do research, and find careers in academia or industry. Uh, biotechnology and those other fields. Uh, and so uh, they get that experience of being in the lab. They, they complete a project for a year's worth of research, poster maybe out of that. A lot of them come to SACNIS or other uh, meetings like this that they present their work at. Uh, so it's really a good learning experience for them. Not only do they get the experience, but they also get to see what science is as a social experience by being at meetings like this. Uh, others go into this particular major for uh, you know medical school or other health professional school uh, app, uh, uh, programs. So uh, it's uh, the kind of program that you want to major in if you're, for example, wanting to go to medical school at a research intensive medical school. Uh, having a major in cell and molecular biology, well, I think uh, well it's it's a good major to to be in for that for those kind of schools. Uh, and uh, and so uh, you know it, it works out well for them as well, and then still others go right off into uh, industry with that. You know they they work in the biotech field, uh, starting out uh, at uh, low level uh, positions, but a lot of them work their way up very rapidly into uh, staff uh, science positions. And uh, and from what I gather from talking to a few of them, that they they like this, uh, they like getting paid for their science work, and uh, it's a good career move for them. And of course, there's always the, uh, the opportunity to teach. You know, there's a lot of uh, opportunities for teachers uh, getting their degree in this field. Uh, we don't have any shortage of science teachers, so we need more. Uh, and uh, this is a, a good thing to do if you want to, you know, help to bring up the next generation of, of science active people.